some time ago, we heard word that Matt Damon and Ben Affleck were going to be joining up for the first time in ages on screen again with Ridley Scott, director of The Martian, coming in to direct based on a true historical story called The Last Duel. And it sounds sounded interesting. I was curious about it. Not exactly stoked about it. It's like, okay, a couple, a couple of guys in the old medieval days don't like each other and they're going to have a duel. Okay, whatever. It sounds fine. Well, today the first trailer for The Last Duel dropped. And Rob, I was excited about the Jackass 4 trailer. Even though I wasn't excited for Jackass 4, but the trailer got me on board. This is the better trailer that came out today. This trailer is fantastic. Like, I'm watching this and I... My my starting assumption, and I feel bad about it, was that, oh, this is just going to be the novelty of Ben Affleck and Matt Damon being in a movie together again. That's, that's what this is going to be. That's not what they're aiming for. You watch this trailer, and you completely get the feeling they are aiming for Oscars. They are clearly aiming for Oscars. Matt Damon looks great in this. Adam Driver looks great in this. Uh, what's Is it Jodie Comer? Is that her name? Yeah, yeah. From Killing Eve and the upcoming yep. uh, the upcoming Free Guy with the Ryan Reynolds, yeah. she looks great in this. Yes, the, it looked far bigger in scale, Rob, than I thought it was going to. Like I thought this was going to be small character kind of film. This looks much bigger in scale, while also feeling like it's going to be very much a character driven film. The direction and the feel of it, the, the DNA of it, just felt great. I literally found myself salivating over this i'm like i i can't wait to watch this and then you see ben affleck and like the blonde hair and the blonde beard i'm like i didn't even recognize him at first and listen i'm not gonna lie the, my big point of interest in this movie has been to see damon and affleck on screen together again i love those two as a pair i really do but this looked fantastic adam driver came out of nowhere because even though we've known he was one of the stars of it we've always just been focused on affleck and damon together again adam driver looks like he could be the pardon the pun, driving force of this movie. Everything about this just felt right and felt grand and felt, I'll use the word, epic. It felt big and grand and epic with some terrific performances and you got Ridley Scott at the helm. I, I, Rob, I love this trailer. I can't wait to see this thing. You had a chance to see it. What did you make of it? Dude, I mean, I love these kinds of stories. Of course, Ridley Scott's first movie that he ever made was The Duelists. And I was wondering, is this going to have some kind of... No, it's a different thing entirely. Uh, but I, I love Ridley Scott when he's working in the me medieval milieu, so to speak. Whether it's, you know, Kingdom of Heaven, whether it was The Duelists, even to a certain extent, Rob. Um, and I... This story looks fantastic. I'm completely invested. Uh, I love it. Love it. What like what were your expectations going? Because like I said, I my expectations, which were just kind of based on nothing really, was that it was gonna be a small character film. You know, it was gonna probably be pretty low budget. I don't know why I thought that, but I did. I thought it's just gonna be a lot of Matt Damon and but, but I, what, what were your expectations going into it and how did it differ def, differ from your expectations? Like like you, it sounded like it was gonna be some small movie. You know, like it was, I, I thought more like The Duelist, his first film, which was, it was Keith Carradine and Harvey Keitel having this beef that lasted decades and they kept fighting one another. I thought it was going to be more like that. I didn't realize that it would be an entire kingdom at stake. And I mean, it looks, it looks epic. It looks like there's warring factions and, and, and politics and, and a big lie. And, and I, I, it was very different than I thought it was going to be, and it looks just exactly up my alley. So I'm, again, this was something, look, I always love watching Ridley Scott movies, but knowing what this movie is about, I mean, the guy's in his 80s now, and yeah. he's lost none of his power, man. This looks great. Um, fingers crossed. You know, it's hard to believe that there was a good decade stretch there where it looked like Ridley Scott had completely lost it. Like, he was putting out crap after crap for, for, for like, almost a decade. And then all of a sudden came The Martian. And it's yeah, like, oh, well, right, he's Ridley Scott. And, and The Martian was awesome. And now we're looking forward to seeing this. Yeah, the extended version of The Martian especially is one of my favorite films of the last decade. And oh, So uh, good. Matt, it's great to see him working with Matt Damon again after doing such great work together.
It is. Question is for you guys. Have you had a chance to watch this trailer for The Last Duel? This is this is two for two today with trailers. This one also really surprised me. I love this trailer. It's got award season written all over it. What did you guys think about it? Jump on down to the comment section below and let us know your thoughts.